Thanks for joining us today. I'm Connie with Mobile Paspa, and this is Simi. Oh, thank you, Simi. And we are going to talk about giving your dog a B-A-T-H. Now, Simi knows the word, but he hasn't figured out how to spell it yet. And I know there's a lot of videos out there on how to give a dog a bath, so that's not really what we're gonna do today. I just wanna give you some quick tips to make the whole process more efficient for you and for your dog, and maybe save you a little money too. So the first tip I'm gonna give you is if you have a dog like Simi, he's a Maltese, you wanna make sure there are no mats. If there are any mats in the coat, if you give him a bath, it's going to make those mats worse. I can't even tell you how many times in my grooming, years of grooming, I had new customers that had matted dogs and when I show up for their appointment, they say, oh, I gave him a bath, I hope that helps. Well, it doesn't. So you first wanna make sure you go through the coat with a comb or a brush, make sure there aren't any mats. That will help a lot. And the next tip I'm gonna give you is, is a money saving tip. And that is no matter what kind of shampoo you're using, get a spray bottle like this and you wanna dilute it. Now the shampoos that I use and that I sell are highly concentrated. So a little bit of shampoo goes a long way. But even if you're using a shampoo that's not that concentrated, you still will get a benefit from diluting it in a bottle of water. Because normally you would just take the bottle of shampoo, you either dump it on your dog or you dump it in your hand and they get all the shampoo on top of them too much shampoo and then there's maybe other areas where there isn't enough shampoo. So putting it in a spray bottle and I would say a good ratio would be 10 parts water to one part shampoo. That way you can just spray it all over their body. The parts that need more shampoo you just spray a little bit more and it will make your shampoo last a lot longer. The next hint or trick to give you is just to make sure you have everything ready before you get your dog. If you get your dog and then you forgot this and you forgot that, they're just getting more impatient through the whole process. If it helps, even have a little to-do list or a little checklist just to make sure you have everything ready to go. And now as a groomer, of course, I have a tub to groom them in. If you're giving your dogs a bath at home, obviously you probably don't have a dog grooming tub, so you're going to be using either your sink or your bathtub. So you definitely want to have your dog restrained in some way, especially if you're doing it alone. If you have someone to help you and that can hold on to your dog, great. If not, I recommend just using a simple grooming noose like this. Now, if he should pull real hard for any reason, it will just slide and let go. It won't choke him. So that's why I like using, I, I like using this type. And then what you want to do is have something that will attach to your faucet. Now, one of the things I use is just an elastic band like this. And I just put this over the faucet. And then I just hook the grooming loop right into it. And that way they're attached or they're, they can't get away. Another thing you can use is just a jumbo twist tie like this. Same thing, um, if this is your faucet, just kind of twist it around your faucet and then you can attach the grooming loop to it like that or if you're in a bathtub too. Now, regardless of your age, bathtubs can be really hard on the back, so just be careful when if you're going that route. If you have a bigger dog, you might even want to look into self-serve dog washes if you have any of those in your area. Now, now, when you are doing the bath, you don't want to just open up the ear and squirt a bunch of shampoo in there and squirt a bunch of water in there. The ears are very, very delicate, so you only want to use cleaner that's intended for dog's ears. You can, however, you know, take the shampoo and you can clean the outer part of the ear. You can clean that part because sometimes that gets kind of greasy, but as far as the ear canal goes, don't put shampoo and water in there. Again, just use ear cleaner. And you might even want to just put a little cotton ball in there and that'll help keep the ear clean and dry. And then my last hint for you, a towel. I love these little chamois, whether you have a big dog or a small dog, one is all it takes. If it gets full of water, you wring it out and you can keep using it and it'll keep absorbing water as you're drying your dog and then you don't have a bunch of big bulky bath towels to wash when you're done. So those are just my quick tips to help make the whole bathing process 
less painful, uh, and a lot quicker for you and your dog. If you have any questions or comments, I welcome them. Be sure to visit my website, mobilepawspa.com, and remember to subscribe to my, to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And Simi and I, thank you for watching today.